Surprised they're still open, but I'm not complaining. Can I have... Uh, yeah. How'd you know? <laughs> you memorized my order. Do I really come here that much? Yeah, well, that's to be expected. I'm guessing every student on campus is coming here for a caffeine jolt to keep them going. Uh, come to think of it, this place has been pretty quiet lately. How come? Oof, ouch. Yeah, I spotted the new vending machine around campus. They have cold brew in a can now, eh? Yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry about that. Uh, thank you. I'll probably be sitting in the corner going over my notes. Feel free to talk to me if you get bored. Uh. Hmm? What's all this? Uh, well, if it helps with waste, I will happily enjoy the muffin. Thank you. You know, it's been really bugging me. I've seen you somewhere before. Other than the coffee place. I feel like I've seen you around campus. Oh. You're a student part-time? Nice. What are you studying? Very nice. Me? Medicine. My family has a lot of leaders, but not a lot of healers. I'm the youngest of the Southridge pack. Oh, you've heard of us. All good things, I hope. Yeah, my uncles are pretty great. I've been learning a lot from them. You're curious about pack life? Then, please, take a load off and ask away. Usually, yes, that's the case. The eldest child normally does take over the pack when the time comes, but... Only after working alongside the pack leader and running the pack on the pack leader's behalf for at least five years. It's to make sure you're handing the pack over to the right person. Way back in the day when Alpha passed away, the eldest child would take over, but they finally decided after many terrible pack leaders that wasn't a good idea anymore. Hmm. Maybe... My older brother might get to be the leader, but I don't know. To tell you the truth, lately, my father has been looking at me in a different light. I always thought my brother would take over, and I've been completely fine with that. As long as I can help our pack, I don't really mind. But lately, my father has been acting differently. You know, just... Small comments here and there. At first, I didn't really pay much attention to it, but... Then one day he told me... You know, having an alpha that knows how to heal, not just lead, would be a good thing. If what my father says is true, and he's hoping, I'll step into the role when the time comes. Oh, I don't know. I've never even thought about it before. I always assumed I'd become the pack healer. We've been needing a qualified medic for a while now, and I'm more than happy to fill that role, and... I just realized I just dumped all that on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know where all that came from. Uh, I guess I've just been holding on to all these thoughts for a long time. You know how it is. With studying and trying to attend classes. It's hard enough as it is. But add family drama on top of it? It's just been a lot. <laughs> and now... 
I feel bad for you, because all you wanted was to get a few questions answered out of curiosity. Yeah? You're sure you don't think I'm crazy? <laughs> Thank you. You're very kind. Yeah, I was able to get some work done. Thank you for listening to me vent. My shoulders feel a lot lighter. You have a very open and loving feel to you. It's very therapeutic. Do you listen to all your customers' problems? Uh-huh. And who listens to your problems? Oh, come on. Everyone has something that's stressing them out. It can't be easy juggling working here and studying. Any family or friend drama? Not even a boyfriend. Oh. I see I'm getting closer to the issue. Not a boyfriend. A guy that just won't take a hint. A classic. So? Where did you meet this guy? In a taster class you tried. Hmm. He hit on you. You turned him down. And how long ago was this? That long. And he still hasn't gotten the hint. God, he has to be losing steam at this point. Damn. Yeah, he is persistent, I'll give him that. Do I know this guy? Hmm, he sounds familiar. Maybe I've met him in passing. If you want, I could help you out. I could talk to him. That's not a good idea. Why's that? <laughs> Oh, is that so? Doesn't like confrontation, does he? Well, he sounds swell. <laughs> You've got an idea? Tell me. I, I mean... I'm not saying no. I certainly wouldn't mind pretending to be your boyfriend. So he gets the hint. To have such a wonderful girl who just so happens to make the best coffee I've ever had as my pretend girlfriend? It wouldn't be terrible at all. Am I flirting? Hmm. I guess only time will tell. Aren't you worried that you'll fall for your new pretend boyfriend? <laughs> Touche. You're closing up soon, right? Well, I'll be happy to walk you home. I wouldn't want my girl walking back all alone in the dark. Take your time. I'll be right here. <laughs>